G'day YouTube, how are you? Today I'm just doing a quick video, hopefully, um, of Modern Warfare 3. Uh, however, on screen I've got some footage of MW2, as you know, this is Modern Warfare from the Modern Warfare franchise, I should, should say. And I thought it'd be nice to go on a little bit of a flashback. But what the, the reason I'm showing you this little flashback from MW2, which is a mission from the campaign, is because I wanted to talk to you about the campaign of MW3. Now, a lot of people, you know, they're, they're only interested in multiplayer, and, well, that's fair enough. I like multiplayer too, but there are still a fair few people out there who want to know about how the story of the Modern Warfare series ends. You know, with Soap McTavish, um, Captain Price, you know, all of that, and finding Makarov, obviously, which is a big thing in this game. And that's what I'm going to, you know, get onto now. Now, we do know for a fact that has been leaked by uh, multiple websites and was confirmed by Activision as far as I know that finding Makarov is the main objective of this you know, campaign, which is fair enough considering he is the one that framed an American that caused the terrorist attacks on a Russian airport which caused Russia to invade America. Mm, okay, so we know that and so Captain Price and Soap McTavish and I think we play as Soap um, are after Makarov in order to attempt to stop the war that is raging, because if you don't remember, uh, America was invaded by Russians, which is totally un... well, unrealistic, I'd say, you know, I mean, hopefully that doesn't happen in real life, I'm not saying it will, I'm not saying it has won't, but anyway, um, but in the game it does, and yeah, so, MW3, as, uh, like, all the other MW... COD games, uh, the campaigns and stuff, you'll be transported all around the world, and I've got a, you know, a list of the proposed places that you'll fight in uh, during the campaign. Uh, we're looking at places, with, there's a place in India, New York, on a plane with the President of Russia, as leaked by this website I'm reading off, uh, the Middle East, London, Paris, Germany, uh, Dubai, even, and in Washington, you know, so, and various other places, which... Um, I'm sure we'll play it, which is going to be fun because it means a lot of fast-paced, hopefully, and very interesting places to fight and play the game. Now, um, yeah, so finding Makarov, um, that is the main thing, and you'll have to remember that, you know, there will be other things in the game, like there's always a second player that you play as. I think it's a couple of Delta Force operatives, uh, and you're fighting the war basically in America. Um, as opposed to being Soap and Captain Price uh, doing the covert ops finding Makarov. Now, I'm really interested in the campaign for Modern Warfare 3 because I'm a fan of Modern Warfare. I think Treyarch really didn't do a great job with Black Ops. The storyline was okay, but the gameplay was eh, you know, average. Um, and yeah, and I loved COD 4, and that storyline was good. And when I played Modern Warfare 2, eh, well, I wasn't convinced at first on the whole storyline. But, you know, I've been playing it a lot recently and thinking about all the Modern Warfare games, and, you know, I'm getting excited for Modern Warfare 3, because I do want to know how it ends, and I'm sure a lot of people do. I mean, will you find Makarov end the war? Will Captain Price and Soap live? Will the Modern Warfare franchise be, you know, possibly a fourth one? I'm suggesting it, you know, I mean, depends if they leave the story open or not in Modern Warfare 3. However, I think the plans are to leave it at MW3 and not in MW4, but... I don't know what Activision is planning, nor Infinity Ward, so don't quote me on that one. Now, um, I might as well tell you about multiplayer as well while I'm here, you know, just briefly, because everyone is interested in that. We'll have, you know, uh, it's listed to be 20 different maps, however, not all of them will probably be released on launch. Um, some of them may come out in a map pack uh, later down the track. Uh, and yeah, so lots of different places there to play. Uh, you've all seen the multiplayer trailers by now and gameplay from um, COD XP, I assume, hopefully. If not, check it out, it's good stuff. Looks like a good multiplayer, lots of machine guns, SMGs to use. So it's a real fast-paced, action-packed multiplayer. Uh, quickscoping is meant to be back, hopefully. I hope so, I like quickscoping. And you can check out a montage of mine uh, on my channel if you want with some quickscoping from MW2. But, you know, 
Uh, I think it's got everything that you want. It does look a lot like Modern Warfare 2, so what you're seeing now will be similar to what you see in MW3, but there's always going to be some differences, like improved graphics, possibly different, like a tweaked engine, which is another thing. It is using the MW2 engine, however, it's probably been tweaked and updated since MW2. Now, uh, what else to talk about? Um, survival mode, uh, I mean Spec Ops, uh, there'll be two modes in that. Uh, let me just check, there's survival mode and spec ops, oh, mission, oh, sorry, survival and mission modes, uh, supposedly you fight off ways of enemies and stuff and do various, um, objectives, similar to MW2 and, um, I think there's even a, the survival part is similar to zombies in Black Ops, but I don't know too much about that and it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um... I can't think of much else except to say that hopefully um, I'll be bringing out some more videos on MW3 on this channel so you know keep an eye out I'm looking to do videos hopefully on release day if not day after um, pro I'll be playing on PC um, which is actually what I'm playing on now forgot to mention that but yeah I'll be playing on PC so it'll be easy to get some footage for you guys um, I'll basically be doing couple of different videos on that. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what, so if you've got any suggestions on what you want to see from Modern Warfare 3 on release day or just after, drop a comment below or on Facebook and Twitter, which the links will be in the at the end of the video or on in the description. Um, but yeah, and now just shifting away from COD for a moment, um, Battlefield 3. Now I know this isn't a great video to put Battlefield 3 into, but you know, I'm going to mention it. I'll also be getting that game because ev it's highly contested this year, MW3 or Battlefield 3. So it's going to be interesting to see. I, I'm getting both, so that's why I'll be doing videos on both and talking about both, but I'll hopefully do videos comparing both once I've actually fully played both games. Um, but if you're interested in Battlefield 3 as well as COD, you know, subscribe to the channel or keep an eye on the channel as well. However, if you're only interested in one or the other, fair enough. But that's what I'll be doing, so, yeah. Alright then, guys, well, thank you for watching the video. I hope I've given you a bit of information that's helpful, useful, interesting, enjoyable, t uh, fun to listen to, and gameplay that's entertaining. Um, please come back for more videos. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links will be in the description, and I will talk to you later, YouTube. Have a good day.